garbage. And I'm pleased to say, Ooh. Right now, you're currently hearing the audio from the Redmi AirDots 3. And I will be doing a gaming test as well as a microphone test with background noise a little further into this video. But I wanted to talk about these. I've been using them now for about two weeks. I think I have a good gauge on them. And I'm really, really happy to report that this is the first pair of Redmi AirDots that I can say that I don't hate and actually maybe kinda can recommend to some people. Now, before we go any further, I wanna say thank the sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. I got a deal coming for you guys at the end of this video. Along with that, I will be doing a tutorial about how to change the controls on these through the Xiao AI app that I'm currently using because I've had a lot of questions about that. But I wanna talk a little bit about the construction of these headphones because all of the other Redmi AirDots have had virtually the same construction as the original Xiaomi AirDots two years ago, both cheaper materials. And you guys know that I've been making tons of jokes about those headphones just being garbage. And I'm pleased to say, ooh, I'm definitely keeping that in the video, that this case, I've dropped this case once, it's got a little ding on it, um, and it, it's held up fine. And on top of that, the lid feels much higher quality. It actually kind of holds itself open better than the previous lids. And that's probably down to the fact that when you open this, you get a pop-up notification on your phone. And I'll be showing you guys that in a second. But it's got USB-C charging on the back and it's got a little pairing button to troubleshoot your pairing issues with the headphones right in the case. Now these headphones, their construction is extremely similar to the original Xiaomi AirDots. With the inclusion of a ambient ear sensor or an in-ear sensor that plays and pauses the music when you take them out of your ear. And it works pretty quickly and it works pretty well. On top of that, a little detail I noticed that is really nice to see Xiaomi paying attention is, here, maybe we can get this to focus, 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 focus. All of the Xiaomi ear tips now for these headphones have a little, they have a little screen on them to help keep the actual headphones themselves cleaner. And that's great. I love to see that and it shows Xiaomi's dedication to increasing the quality of what was normally a pretty low quality, mediocre pair of headphones. The plastic on the sides of the headphones is glossy, but they stay in your ears totally fine. Now, along with the in-ear detection and, and touch controls, another update that Xiaomi made was the addition of USB-C charging. And that is great. I'll go ahead and I'll have the playback times linked or listed for you here on screen, but I've been able to get about four hours or so of playback time with these um, before I get down to like 20 or 30%. So depending upon the volume that you listen to these, you might want to turn that up or turn that down. Now, in regards to volume and playback, uh, everyone always complains that I need to, bro, you know, you need to try, I don't know, I'm doing a fucking accent. I just, I, I assume that everyone that complains on my videos has an accent because my audience is so international, which I like, uh, that I don't use an EQ when reviewing the sound. So I went into my Spotify, I downloaded all my music in high quality, I turned up the EQ that I had available to me in Spotify, and the headphones sounded better, but it didn't make these headphones sound great. Bass on them, isn't super punchy, bass on them is kind of weak. Uh, they have a very kind of flat, even sound, but it's still not the kind of flat sound that I would necessarily call accurate. Um, but if you turn the bass up on whatever app you're using to listen to music, uh, it gives it more bass. Not that it makes it sound much better. I'll go ahead and give you guys some mic quality with background noise right now. Here is some background noise, lavalier microphone. And now here is some background noise with the microphone of the Redmi AirDots 3. I would say that the volume for this background noise would be crowded cafe, 
maybe a little bit quieter than out here of the streets of Hanoi. And I think, as you guys can hear, that it does an all right job for a pair of sub $50 headphones. But again, you cannot just replace the overall design of having a tip that's pointed at your mouth. And as you could hear, even though these have the newest Qualcomm 3040 chipset and CVC 8.0, mic quality on them is just okay. I wouldn't say mic quality on them is fantastic, and it definitely doesn't come close to either of these two headphones, Pamu Quiet Mini, which I am in love with, or the original Pamu Quiet, which these are actually so good in regards to their microphone uh, that for doing online conferencing through Zoom, I don't even really use my gaming headset with dedicated mic, mic anymore um, simply because the mic quality from these is so good. It is really, really impressive. Now next up, I wanna show you guys the pairing animation. And as you guys can see on this global ROM, we have a pop-up animation. We have the ability to see how much battery life is left in our case, as well as the headphones. Now, I don't think, and I'll try uh, installing the Xiao AI app on my tablet for you guys and trying to see if I get a pop-up with that, but I don't remember having a pop-up when I've tried this before with previous Xiaomi headphones, unless you're running MIUI. And that's definitely a bummer because for people that don't have MIUI, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of this. And then you don't know how much battery life your case has, which to me is a bit of a downside. Okay, let me go ahead and do a gaming test for you guys real quick. Now, as you guys can see for gaming, these headphones are all right. They're not great. You're still probably gonna wanna use a pair of wired headphones for gaming. For watching stuff on YouTube, they are acceptable if you can deal with the lag, but there are gonna be other wired options that will be better. Next up that I wanted to talk on is just overall value because the Qualcomm 3040 chip alone makes these headphones an excellent value. Connection wise, I haven't had any issues with connection with them dropping out. Mono mode works fine. The microphone works reliably. So up until this point, I would say that they're okay. In fact, even with the ability to reprogram the controls, they're okay. So now I wanna talk about the bad parts of these headphones because, well, yeah. In-ear detection, awesome. Qualcomm 3040 chip, awesome. A case that syncs its battery percentage with my phone so I can see how much battery has left, awesome. Microphones, passable in quiet conditions. But only having one control for each ear, personally, for me, makes these headphones almost an instant no buy unless I'm listening to podcasts, because with podcasts, I really only ever need to play pause or skip ahead to skip ads. And I was able to reprogram, and I'll show you guys how to reprogram this at the end of the video. Uh, I was able to reprogram the left headphone to skip forward, but still not being able to rewind the track, not being able to call up assistant, not being able to change volume, to me, makes these headphones almost an instant no buy. Only with podcasts do I find these headphones to be acceptable because then I'm not listening to music for them. They stay in my ears fine for working out and maybe for the gym, these headphones would work for you because 
I guess you wouldn't be rewinding songs or trying to do much stuff with your ears. And you would probably have your phone within arm's reach. But the controls are just unacceptable. And the fact that we have other options now from companies like Soundpeats, Halu, uh, Tronsmart, and we're still buying these Xiaomi headphones, to me is a huge mistake in regards to user experience. It might not be a big deal to you. And if it's not a big deal for you, then you're gonna enjoy the ability to reprogram the controls, you're gonna enjoy the pop-up animations, and that's gonna be fine. And if you wanna buy them, you can get them now for around $40, which I think is a fair price for the USB-C and all of the features I talked about, and I'll have links to where you can buy them down below. And I've do, I'll go ahead and I'll do some write-up stuff on my TechFluent blog for you guys, because I know a lot of you are non-native English speakers or you need to use subtitles for my videos, so I'll give you guys something to read. But if you're okay with the lack of controls and you're only gonna get a Xiaomi device and you're only gonna use MIUI and you're okay using the Mandarin app and having to take screenshots and use Google Translate or watching the tutorial for how to change that at the end of this video, then get these. But I think that if you have other options, and I'll link all of the other options that I think are similar in price range to this, but better down below for you guys. And it goes a really long way to supporting my channel. I think you should get other options. I want to take a moment and thank the sponsor for today's video, Surfshark VPN. I have an 83% discount if you use the link in the description down below, along with the code Mitchell at checkout. And that brings the price of Surfshark VPN to right around $2 a month. And that's actually how I found them as a sponsor, because I was looking for the most affordable VPN service. Now, here in Vietnam, I have to use public Wi-Fi a lot. I need to do banking stuff, I trade cryptocurrency, and I update my website. And for all of that stuff, I wanna make sure that I have a safe and secure internet connection. And that's where Surfshark VPN comes into play. Along with that, if I have certain TV shows or stuff that I wanna watch on Netflix, Surfshark VPN allows me to open up a completely different library than if I was just logging on from this location. And on top of that, depending upon where in the world you live, you might be dealing with some government censorship the same way I am. And using Surfshark VPN actually can speed up and make my internet connection here more stable. Now, if all of this sounds like an offer you guys want, Surfshark VPN has a 30 day money back risk free trial that you guys can go ahead and sign up for. And if you don't like it, you don't have to pay for it. Go ahead, support the channel and support the companies that support me. Now, let's show you guys how to go ahead and install the Xiao AI app and change your controls. First thing you want to do is go to APK Mirror and I'll have the link for this down below. Download the newest version of Mi AI and then go ahead and install it on your device. Make sure your Redmi Air Dots 3 are unpaired. Launch Mi AI. Go into your settings tab. Go ahead and select Bluetooth devices. Look for Bluetooth devices and open up your Redmi Air Dots 3. Go ahead, let them connect. Go into settings and if this is your first time, you will be prompted to change your controls or you can go ahead, finish this setup and use Google Translate. Personally, I went ahead and I got them set up and then I used Spotify to figure out what the controls meant for playback and pause. And that's how I went ahead and customized the controls for each earbud to my liking. And the controls now work totally acceptably fine. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth, long-term review of the Redmi AirDots. I think that if you don't have the other options, which I've linked down below, these are a good purchase. If you're able to get your hands on any of the other options I have down below, go ahead, get those instead, because I think they offer a better user experience for all mobile phone users, not just Xiaomi users. And if you guys wanna read more about this kind of stuff, I'm posting content and memes and all kinds of interesting tech stuff and news on TechFluent, which is my newest project on Facebook, on, on Instagram, and on TikTok. And as always, guys, use Brave Browser. I appreciate it. Peace.